It is a joy to introduce to you this short video about the ACT Palestine Forum and its ministers in Jerusalem, the West Bank, and Gaza. In the Palestinian context, the ACT Palestine Forum brings together many churches and church-related organizations in a common effort to respond to emergency situations, alleviate human sufferings, address long-term development needs, build awareness about the humanitarian consequences of the Israeli occupation, advocate for peace and justice, and an end to the occupation itself. Idag ber vi för våra systrar och bröder i Palestina och Israel. Vi kommer så att göra den 24 varje månad tills vi kan fira ett slut på den ockupationen och tills vi har nått en varaktig och rättvis lösning på den palestinsk israeliska konflikten. Let us pray for the peace of Jerusalem, Israel and Palestine. O oh Gott, du Quelle von Güte und Mitgefühl, wo Menschen leben in Argwohn und Angst und wo Unsicherheit und Umbruch ihre ständigen Begleiter sind. It's very essential to understand that ACT Alliance Palestine is serving every human being, regardless of gender, regardless of uh, um, race, ethnicity, political or religious uh, affiliation. We always serve the needy. And wherever there is a needy person, we go there. We give them, we give them uh, what the Bible tells us, life and life abundantly. I'm the executive director of the Near East Council of Churches, which is part of the Department of Service to Palestine refugees in Gaza. We are members of ACT Palestine Forum, which is supported by ACT Alliance in Geneva, where they supported our projects and programs uh, which included cash relief, uh, job creations, supported our he health service, our family health centers, and our vocational training centers, all of which helps and support all vulnerable and needy people. And that has a good impact and effect on people during the uh, the bad time. Toivon Jumala, kun sydämet ovat toivottomia ja väsyneitä, kun poliittiset vangit on erotettu rakkaistaan, kun epäoikeudenmukaiset lait estävät aviomiehiä ja vaimoja, elämästä yhdessä Jerusalemissa. Ja kun epätoivo valtaa kotinsa vasten tahtoaan jättäneet perheet. Ahli Arab Hospital provides 24 emergency services plus rehabilitation and we run a diagnostic services that includes the laboratory and x-ray. The mission of the hospital is to serve all the needy without discrimination of religion, of gender, of social class, or political affiliation. 
Gaza is suffering of continuous siege where we are lacking um, medicine, medical supplies. Also, we are suffering from long hours of electricity cut off. Norwegian Church Aid, Church of Sweden, Church of Finland, because of their partnership with us, we could reach thousands of people who are in need through their continuous support. We have participated in changing the life of 800 sick elderly. Also, we could participate in doing health education and screening for women above 40 years of age in an aim to have early prediction of cancer. Psychosocial program, it's uh, another program where we could train the trainer and uh, the team of Ahli has helped them to design uh, their plans and start their work in psychosocial to help their communities. We are helping to empower people. Empower people to live their dignity. This work that we are doing is not only, it's not a charity. It is a work that we are doing so that people can be empowered for justice. As the Chinese proverb is saying, don't uh, give the needy people a ready cooked fish, teach them to fish. Act Alan Palestine teaches every human being whom, the, whom we are helping to fish. Oh God, our Creator, help us. Där arbetslösheten är hög, där många har svårigheter att få tillgång till sjukvård och grundläggande livsnödvändigheter. Där mark och vatten och andra resurser skäls illegalt. Gottes Friedens. Wo man sich auf die Kraft der Waffen stützt, um den Nachbarn abzuschrecken, zu verletzen oder klein zu machen. Wo Kinder nicht zur Schule gehen können, ohne die Bedrohung auf ihrem Weg angegriffen zu werden. Wo Bauern nicht ernten können, ohne schikaniert zu werden. امنح صلاحك ووجود حياتك أن يكون معنا وشجع الإسرائيليين والفلسطينيين كي يبتعدوا عن العنف وضع نهاية للاحتلال واحمي حقوق الإنسان وطمئن من في حياته معاناة من سوء المعاملة والعنف Augusta Victoria Hospital is a specialty hospital that started uh, specializing in certain uh, specialties that are not available in the Palestinian healthcare system. Starting in 1997, the hospital shifted from being a general hospital to being a specialty hospital. The first specialty that we embarked on was uh, kidney diseases. Soon after, we opened head and neck department and then we started the cancer services. Of course, the biggest of all the specialties that the hospital is now servicing is cancer because it is the only cancer center with comprehensive services in the Palestinian territories. It offers a chemotherapy unit, it has a radiation oncology unit, it has cancer surgery unit, and now we have a blood cancer unit, what we call hematologic oncologic disease unit, and also bone marrow transplantations. One of the main focuses of the specialty services was Gaza, in the cancer services, because Gaza does not have any cancer services, specifically radiation oncology. Uh, these accelerators actually service 3.7 million in population, all over the West Bank and in Gaza. Because in the Augusta Victoria Hospital and in the Lutheran World Federation at large, we believe in the rights of patients to access health care. So we started two things. We started a transportation system in order to ease the patients coming and going to the checkpoint in Gaza. But more importantly, we now have a hotel that is designated for Gaza patients whereby they come out of Gaza, they receive their treatment over eight, nine weeks, but they stay in a hotel. 
In that sense, I'm reminded of cases like in a 10-year-old child who is now used to have Owings sarcoma, uh, was treated at Augusta Victoria Hospital, had to get an amputation because there was metastatic spread into the bone. Nevertheless, she has been treated and she's back to Gaza and she's receiving some supportive treatment in Gaza, but more importantly, she's back to school. And these are the, of course, many, one story of many success stories that the hospital is catering for. God of reconciliation, where relationships are broken, where people are isolated from each other, and also from goods and services that alleviate suffering, and where political processes meant to restore dignity practices cynicism and anger. Act funded the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and Holy Land with a project that supported traumatized children uh, where it was implemented in all its schools. Uh, this project was uh, targeting uh, students and teachers, where it helped students uh, to express their feeling through psychosocial activities, uh, as awareness sessions, recreational activities, uh, counseling and guidings, um, with the help of the social counselor in each school, in addition to helping special needs students. This project helped us uh, to uh, reduce violence in uh, the schools, in addition to a better communication. Even if we are living under occupation, even if we are living in difficult times, we assist but also we pray. I think this is what the old aura et labora. We pray and we work. Kaikkea tätä ja kaikkea sitä, mitä pyhän maan kokonaistilanne tarvitsee. Me rukoilemme Herramme, poikasi Jeesuksen Kristuksen nimessä. Amen. 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 On behalf of the ACT Palestine Forum, I invite you to participate in the monthly prayer vigil for peace sponsored by the ACT Palestine Forum. Please join us in prayer on the 24th of every month for the Christian communities in Palestine and Israel, for all those who are suffering in the Holy Land, for Palestinians and Israelis, and for peace in the Middle East and the world.